guys, it's me, Michael. Hey, Bye. no, it's, and it's also Brandon the Gaber. <laughs> so, before we start this video, I I recommend subscribe to the Passphone YouTube channel, the DJ Rush YouTube channel, and Brandon the Good Gamer YouTube channel. Hey, I have, a, I, have, I have a funny cringe joke. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyways, we're gonna we're oh, gonna man. start a tutorial of Barca Melee. And yes, the main reason there's a tutorial and Wait. I just started the game is mainly actually I have a joke because I've played the game before. May and this is just a a tutorial walkthrough so you can learn how to do it. Can I talk right now? Sure, why not? I have a joke, but it's not about this. Hello, it's memes. <laughs> okay, that's a weird joke. Anyways, that joke was pretty funny. Well, not really, but... We have cringe stuff. I know, but today is not cringe. Today is guacamole. Oh, come on. I want some cringe in this video. Fine. Fine, Brandon. You can Yay! Have some cringe, but please don't make the cringe levels a hundred, man. So, anyways, make sure to break the barrels. Then you get could get coins and to stuff. buy skins. To buy skins. Yeah, mainly they're skin. good. And upgrades to either Juan or to or Tessa. Oh, that's pretty confusing. Well, I'm actually kind of lost. Okay. You are, you got, to go to your left, all the way to this building, you Casa jump, and Boyo. jump all the way inside the cup, inside the house. So, so guacamole is, is mainly about like Mexico? Yes, is a Mexican fighting game. So, you don't actually have to hear what they're talking, you can hear or read what you're talking just look in the back they'll show you so anyways we just break every single barrel because that gives you a lot of money and you need it so you so let's just skip all of this dialogue easiest way to skip the dialogue is just by mashing the x button because if you mash it then then you can just skip through all the dialogue. <laughs> so anyways, we just gotta get out. Make sure to jump down the roof, or at least try to, because I didn't. You want to run inside here, even though it does look like a blocked area. Then Presidente. Wow, there's fire. It's the president's mansion. This has a lot of Mexico. So anyways, this guy is the main protagonist. And the three guys on the little corner. Yes. So Carlos Calaca is the main enemy. And these two little, these three guys on the side of the screen are some of the bosses. So, anyways, let's go. So, then you end up in this dimension. So, just run to your right. And it then you simple. find... And then you find a mask. The mask? I recommend this is only for beginner players. So, come in this house because there's barrels. To collect. Money. So, get out. Oh, yeah. Even though this barrel looks tempting, the barrel is not actually accessible at this point. So this is the, well, actually, I think I've got to try something. Okay, guys. So now I think I actually know how to get the barrel. To get the barrel, you must jump off the roof and try to be lucky enough. So we're gonna... Yeah. There we go, and just get the coins. So now that you've got all the barrels in the area, just go here, 
and a cutting wall pop-up, which will let you get mask. <laughs> yeah. So, just skip all this. That's Tostita. You're a two-player. So, let's just skip all this. Now time for the ultimate cut. Oh, yeah. Those, those people talking in the background are my, are my family. Let me close the door for you guys real quick. Wait a sec. And bam, luchador time. So as a luchador, you have full chance to just wreck stuff. Once you beat this part, you are allowed two player, but for this tutorial, we're going to do a one player experience. And Brandon's going pretty crazy on the camera. I'm just trying to get comfy. Because I was just standing there. See, I have more space. Okay, dude. Let's go see you. Wow, that was actually pretty cringy. Yep, that was really cringy. Anyways, kill all the skeletons, get the coins. Comment and try to play below. And here is your dad. So you just wait. And... You just start. You should mainly try to. Th uh, um, I know an easy tactic when there's two of them: bet one and throw it at the other. So you pick this one up, and that's how you do it. So now we have this shadow man. The Shadow Man, right now, is is kind of hard to kill at the beginning. So then you'll just quickly die, so be careful. Start, don't be scared, start punching. And this is the first hard fight. Because he has a lot of health and he's fast. So and I you might die. An easy way to win is pop out that multiplayer. So now, there you go. Now you have a multiplayer. Basically, you can just use the multiplayer to have extra lives, which is pretty neat. And good thing the multiplayer will go, so yes, we just gotta go back here. Hi. That was Ava back there. And so, Our, um... Well, let's pop the two-player. My cow's cousin, so yeah. Okay, let's pop into the game. The only main problem with two player is that since nobody's controlling it, it could get lost. So I recommend as you run your player, run the two player's player. And yes, I recommend only doing two players if necessary. So here you get a little cute Easter egg. You get Casa de Juan. I recommend only doing two player when you actually need it. So yes, I guess we could have like a little friend. Your name is Julie now. So come on, Julie. Let's go. Julie, if you haven't seen Julie, if you think she's with the orange shirt, nope, she's with the pink, sh the pink cape. Well, anyways, let's just continue on because we don't have to worry about her anymore. Mainly because I just showed you the method of why it's a bad idea to have a second player because they're basically just gonna do nothing. So. Here's a shop where you could buy yourself some new abilities. Yep. Some new costumes. Cool. 
there I like is it. a bunch of costumes, and the best part is you get to switch. So I can be Tostita. I just think about the game that if if you Wait. said the two player doesn't help you that much, so and you get them a costume <laughs> for, no, for no reason. It's so good. You get a costume for them for no reason when they do nothing. The second player. Second. The main reason we have a second player on board is mainly just for some laughs, because we're doing. The launch pack second player experience, where we do an experience where if your best friend was playing with you and they just sat there and did nothing. And if you guys haven't seen, that's the help bar up there. So let's skip that. So, yeah. When you see the help bar go down, that means one of them is Well, is an dying. easy way is just... Make your little, just play as your double and do the work. So basically, this is like my twinsies. Yeah. So now you have... So it's like a photograph, and then they fight for you. So basically, you basically cannot die if you... If, so basically, if you want to play the game on easy mode, then... All you gotta do is just two player. Cause then you can just make one player do all the work while the other player can just sit there. Wait, Mike, wait, Mike, how can you so close let's the door? Just hide here and wait a sec. Wait a sec as we close the door again. And now time for some puppet play. Anyways, we're done here, so so just drag your puppet. This game, well, to be honest, the concept of you. So this is like my globe. So but they're like, he's really the hero of the show. Wait, sorry guys. He's actually the hero. So that was fun. So anyways. There's my dad, and don't, now we don't care about his talking. Anyways. Alright guys, get the stepping. That's the... I'm we gonna, gotta go home, we gotta get the hell up out of my room, boys. Robbie, come on, curfew. Yay, we can't even finish the...